Lesson 4. Drawing Lines and Ellipses with GDI To follow along with this lesson, you will need the project from Win32 Lesson 1. We begin by opening the file win32lesson1.cpp. If we scroll down to the wmpaint message handler inside the winproc function, we should see this. wmpaint is the message that is sent when the window needs to be repainted. So we will put our drawing code here. After line 160, we add the following drawing code. The drawing code that we are using is part of the Graphics Device Interface, or GDI. We will explain more about GDI as we go along, but for now you can just think of it as one method of drawing graphics. There are many others. The code block that we have added draws a line and an ellipse. The first line of code creates a handle to a pen. The H before pen stands for handle. Pens are used to draw line segments and curves, but this pen handle will only be used for storage. The code for drawing our line begins with the declaration of another pen that will be used for drawing the line, and it is called line pen. Below this, we have a color ref which will specify the color that our pen draws in. In the next line, we use an RGB macro to set our pen color to red. After we create a pen and assign it to our line pen handle, the first parameter specifies that the pen will draw solid curves as opposed to dashed or dotted, for example. The second parameter specifies that this pen will draw curves with a width of 7 pixels. The last parameter specifies that the pen draws with the color red that we specified. In the next line, we select our pen for use and store the old pen. The next two statements draw the line segment. Move2 specifies the beginning as 100, 100, and Line2 specifies the second endpoint as 500, 250. When we are done drawing, we select the old pen again and delete the line pen that we created. Much of the line drawing code is repeated for drawing our ellipse. The code differs in that our pen color has changed to blue and the drawing width has changed to 3. The most significant difference, however, is that we have replaced our move to and line to function calls with a call to the arc function. The arc function specifies a rectangular boundary for our ellipse. The coordinates 100, 100 specify the upper left corner, and the coordinates 500, 250 specify the lower right corner. Now if we run our program, we see that the line we drew is a diagonal of the bounding rectangle, and the ellipse lies just inside. This concludes the lesson.